Heroes. Hello and welcome to day one of my solo hiking wild camping adventure. I have just set off. I'm planning to make this a six day trek down the Severn Way, the River Severn, and then back up the Cotswold Way. I've never done anything like this before. Um, I've camped in campsites with friends and so on, but never gone on my own, never wild camped. So this is all very new but very exciting. Um, it's a little bit rain, uh, rainy already and a bit windy, but there are blue skies ahead, so I'm hopeful. Right, on we go. Now to find my lunch spot. Hello, and um, I have finally started walking alongside water. Um, so this is just after having had lunch, I had a, a full vegan brunch, um, large meal because next time I'm stopping for food, it's probably going to be tomorrow evening. So until then, it'll be, everything is in this pack. Um, yeah, it's just started walking alongside water for the first time, which is actually the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. It's not the River Severn. The Severn runs parallel to this. Um, but I'll be walking along this for the rest of the day until I find my camping spot for the evening. So exciting. safe to eat. They look like normal, indeed delectable blueberries. But I'm not sure. It's better not. Shame though. Hello, right, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, I left home at half nine this morning um, and I've just reached a place called Splat, <laughs> S-P-L-A-T-T, -T, um, which is where I plan to camp for the night. Um, so I've got to find a spot now. I've got about an hour till sunset, so there should be plenty of time. But pretty much this is the end of the hiking part of the day and the start of the camping part. Right, this seems like a possible spot. Uh, if I clear this ground a bit. Although I do wonder how appealing it will be camping in the middle of an abandoned wood when it gets dark. <coughs> but at least it's not going to cause a nuisance to anyone else. 
Right. Touch wood. I think we're okay. Right. Set up for the evening. I think we can count day one as a success. I'm just going to have some dinner right now, which is a bottle of Huel. <laughs> just for ease. I've got six of them, one for each day. Um, then read my book for a bit. Robert Graves, goodbye to all that. And get an early night. Up bright and early tomorrow. See you on day two. Good morning and welcome to day two. Hello. It is 6.30am and what a wonderful start to the day. Um, I slept quite well actually. The forest was really quiet. I was awake for about an hour in the middle of the night. and um, There was the odd unexplained noise but no, generally quite relaxed and quite peaceful. Um, body's feeling good. Uh, there was the odd blister on the f feet last night but if they seem to be okay this morning. Back, neck, feeling good. So yeah. I'm now officially a wild camper. Excellent. Um, so today's plan, I'm, I'm heading for a pub near somewhere called Seven Beach this evening. Um, starting along the, the canal again this morning before joining the Seven finally. The Seven Way. Um, but yeah, excited. So now to get this all packed up and get back walking again. who are on board a hotel boat cruiser um, that was moored and they were very chatty. The first one was an Irish fellow who said, you going far? I said, to Bristol. <laughs> he went, good man, good man. Um, and the second guy was uh, from Essex, a member of Red Bidge Ramblers and he wanted to know if I was part of a local rambling group. I said, not yet. He said, oh, good thing to do. We, uh, we go around and help clip back overgrown hedges and clear the ways and so on. I said, yeah, it should look better. But very pleasant, very pleasant chaps. Anyway, I have reached the seven. Dun, dun, dun. This is where the canal merges with the seven, just before Sharpness docks. So, a big moment. This is where I stopped going west. Takes me down to you south. Hello. So I had said that my next food stop would be for dinner, but I ran out of water, so diverted into a little town called Barclay, um, where I found a nice cafe with a few vegan options. So I thought, why not? Um, I had a hummus and sun-dried tomato sandwich, vegetable soup with uh, baguette and vegan butter, um, and a slice of chocolate cake along with an acai smoothie. And when the waitress asked if I wanted um, crisps or salad with the 
hummus sandwich. She said, I'm guessing salad, right? So I said, no, actually I'll have crisps, because I'm not a stereotype. They're very nice, I'm now refreshed, full of water, and ready to keep going. That, the other side of that bridge, is Wales. Chepstow, beginning of Wales. Good evening. It's uh, 20 to 7. It's been a long old day. Started walking at quarter past 7. Um, feeling a little bit battered by the wind along the 7 all this afternoon. Um, just arrived in my destination there, Littleton upon 7. And I'm going to go into a pub now, have some dinner, have a pint maybe, rest my feet a little and then find somewhere to settle down for the evening. So the seven way part of the walk is over because tomorrow it's uh, cross country over towards the Cotswold way for day four. Anyway, now it's time for dinner. eight o'clock now. Um, that was a very nice dinner of a chestnut mushroom and lentil loaf. <laughs> really tasty actually. Um, and a nice pint of cider to go with it. I'm now uh, set up in the corner of a field. There's a glorious sunset going on right now over the seven. Um, but I'm very tired. <laughs> that was a bit of a tough day today actually. Um, quite bruising. I've got some quite impressive blisters. Uh, so I'm just going to read my book a little now wait for sunset in about half an hour and probably hit the hay shortly afterwards. See you in the morning. Good morning, welcome to day three and as you can probably hear it is raining. Um, I don't mind walking in the rain so much, it's more that when the tent is wet, because this is a new tent I've not used it before, slightly concerned about when it's wrapped up during the day that the wet might get everywhere including inside uh, which might make for a, an uncomfortable three nights sleep after this but we shall see it's quite light rain at the moment um, but there's no doubt that the outside of the tent is all wet anyway um, today is a shorter walk as I was saying yesterday it's cross country over to Old Sodbury um, it's effectively just walking from kind of the just northwest of Bristol to over to the northeast, ahead of Cotswold Way on day four. But the exciting thing about tonight is that at six o'clock I'm meeting two friends who are going to be bringing some provisions and company, um, sitting together for a couple of hours in Old Sodbury. So that's a real nice prize to have at the end of today. All right, let's go. Hi, folks. I've been walking for quite a while this morning, but um, I've been having bit of a problem with my foot. It started hurting yesterday afternoon, um, but it was manageable. But overnight it seems to have got worse. Sorry about the car noise, it's a B road. Um, and it's a bit of a sharp pain every time I take a step now. Which is a bit of a problem because I'm taking a lot of steps each day at the moment. Um, so I'm slightly considering my options at the moment because even though the rest of this trip wasn't going to be as strenuous as the first two days in terms of hiking. The thought of a few more days on this foot is a bit of a struggle at the moment, so... Yeah. Watch this space. Hello, it's, um, it's 10 o'clock. Um, and the foot problem hasn't got any better. So, the trouble is if I carry on with the current plan, 
um, then I get into the Cotswolds and there's not really a backup option. You know, you're just on your own on country lanes. Um, so I'm thinking at the moment of going into Bristol, and then at least that's it's kind of a nice destination, but also you near know, food shops, trains, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the best idea really at the moment. Head into Bristol and then maybe reassess at lunchtime. Because I've had some aches and pains over the first couple of days. But they've got better throughout overnight usually. Whereas this one, the thing that worries me a bit is that it was getting worse throughout yesterday and it's much worse this morning. So I don't think it's something that can be solved just with a bit of rest for a couple of hours. Feels like maybe I overdid the mileage in the first couple of days or something. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, well... Not much I can do about it, really. Okay, on to Bristol. made it to Bristol Parkway. Um, it's about three o'clock now. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Um, obviously it's curtailed from where I originally planned, but I've enjoyed the walk anyway. I've learned a lot from hiking and wild camping on my own. And uh, next time I will be hashtag back stronger. So hope you've enjoyed the video and taken something from it as well. I'm off to get the train home now and have a lovely long bath.